Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, hello, my name is Grace, but I also go by Kyung, and this is a psychology and fitness YouTube channel. If you guys wanna know what this channel is all about, just click the link right over here and it will direct you to what my channel is about. So today what we're gonna talk about is one of the most common questions that I get asked. Are you always positive? And how do you deal with toxic people? My number one answer is no, I'm not always positive. I am human, I practice positivity, but at the same time, I am human. I'm not freaking robot or God, so it does get very hard. But over the years, I've learned that, you know, for it to, for something to be developed into a habit, you first have to practice it, right? And then you practice it a week, two weeks, three weeks. Next thing you know, you've been practicing something for an X amount of months and voila, it becomes a habit. Those of you guys who don't have social media, if you watch the news for instance, or whether you're at, you're at your school or at workplace, wherever you are, you, there's so much negativity that's around us. It's a daily thing and we are surrounded by toxic people, whether we realize it or not. So how do I deal with toxic people? Today at the gym, a lady that works there asked me, you know, how do you stay so positive? You, you seem to be positive all the time. What, like, what are you doing? I told her, you know, I, I've been through a lot in life and if I could overcome those huge obstacles, those little tiny things that we tend to get worried about or tend to like start an argument about really isn't worth it. At the end of the day, this is what I always say, you should never let an outsider an outsider meaning someone that isn't you to have control over your emotions and that and let me tell you that is literally the unhealthiest thing that someone can do for themselves is to let other people affect your mood now you may say yeah or grace i mean this person did x and y like how do you not let that person affect your mood let me back up for a second it's okay, like your initial reaction is going to be WTF, what a troll. That's our initial human reaction, right? You're not gonna be like, oh my goodness, that person almost got me into a car accident. God bless his heart. You're not gonna say that. If you do, my God, you might be an angel. But when someone cuts me off, for instance, for that initial human reaction is WTF. Like, what is wrong with you? Get off, get off my road. <laughs> Like I said, sit back and realize everyone, no matter how good of a driver you are, you've had, you, you've made a mistake out on the road. And that's how I see with everything that none of us are perfect. You know, we tend to say things that we regret. We tend to yell at our loved ones. We tend to not have the most integrity like we're supposed to. But regardless of the situation, your initial reaction is going to be, I'm so mad at him or her or why did this person do this, and so forth. But you should only be like that for a couple of seconds. But when you continue your rant for like more than 30 seconds, you are letting an outside person affect your mood and you are continuously thinking about it. Not that I'm making an excuse for that individual, but for my sanity and for my health because I love myself enough to not let people on the outside affect me and the way I'm feeling at that moment. You know, through everything that I've been through, my dad had a control over me for so many years of my life. And then when I got drugged and raped last year, I promised myself before that happened that I would never let anyone ever have control over my feelings, my emotions, like ever, because it is so sad how many years I've wasted. It's so sad. <laughs> so I promised myself I would never do that. And that was a turning point in my life. It's simple. You know, you have to love yourself enough to not let outside people influence the way you feel. It's easier said than done, hence the reason why I said practice, 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 because once you practice, it's going to become a habit where it will eventually come to you naturally. Think of it this way, some people have been through worse than others and some people had a better life than others but regardless we've all been through something and if I can overcome being sexually assaulted to being raped to being you know from my eating disorder to my drug addiction 
the little things in life just they don't really bother me anymore because it's so minute and it's so small compared to the things that I've been through that it's not even it's not even really worth it because you have to step back and think about am I really gonna remember this a year from now if the answer is no then you should just let it go but yes that's how I deal with toxic people and that's that's how I stay positive and remember and I know I haven't said this in a while neurons that wire together will eventually start firing together and also when you train your mind, you change your life. Don't forget that. Stay tuned for next week and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and weekday. Peace out.